So what do you do? You can take fish oil, but we know that fish oil doesn't work. You know that, don't you? 25 prospective randomized clinical trials show that fish oil doesn't work. Eating oily fish is healthy, but fish oil capsules are not. Why not? Because fish oil is not oily fish. There are many things in an oily fish which are not present in fish oil. If you look at unrefined fish oil or oil from a whale or a seal or oil from a person who eats those foods, it has this strange color. It's a brown color. We were very curious. We wanted to know what that was and we identified it as a compound that you find in seaweed. Called, it's a polyphenol, a lipid soluble polyphenol called a fluorotannin. Very important compound. Fish don't make omega-3s. They get it from the seaweed. Just as land plants make omega-6s, marine cold water species make omega-3s. And the same seaweeds that make the omega-3s make the fluorotannins. In fact, you never find omega-3s without fluorotannin. So the omega-3s travel from the seaweed to the plankton, the krill, the fish, the marine mammals, and then to the inuit, the apex predator. But how can the omega-3s travel so far? If you take a fish oil capsule and open it, put it on your hand, within a minute you can smell that omega-3 is breaking down, it is becoming rancid. So how could the omega-3s travel through six trophic layers of a marine ecosystem over a period of many, many months and still arrive intact? in the apex predator because nature designed the polyphenols to protect the omega-3s. The polyphenols, these polyphenols are chaperone compounds. They transport the omega-3s through the entire system, keeping them sweet, and they travel with them until they get into the apex predator. These polyphenols are extremely effective at protecting omega-3s against oxidative stress. In this model, this is a test we did with the Norwegian government Oil with astaxanthin or omega-3 oxidizes very quickly, but if you use the right polyphenols from seaweed or olives, the oil remains sweet until the technicians go home. These polyphenols are so effective at preventing the omega-3s from being oxidized that they're now being used by the fishery industry to preserve fish. This was all published in a paper that I co-wrote with my friend and colleague, Sabol Shladi in the Journal of the Royal Society of Medicine a few years ago. And this paper became one of the top 5% most downloaded papers in the whole of science, not just in medical science, but in the whole of science. For a brief while, it was nice being famous, even in a very low key way. And the fish oil industry absolutely hated it. And I went to meetings where they would shout at me, they'd scream at me in these conferences saying, you're destroying our industry, you're destroying confidence in fish oil. Well, fish oil is a fraud. Omega-3s are a fraud. They only work if you combine them with the polyphenols. You see, in the same way that the polyphenols act as chaperones in the marine food chain, they do the same thing in your body. When you take the omega-3s, if they're on their own, by the time they've reached the stomach or the small intestine, they've started to break down already. If you take them with the polyphenols, they keep the omega-3 safe on its dangerous journey through the stomach, the small intestine, the portal circulation, the liver, the systemic circulation, all the way to the peripheral tissues, which takes up to 24 hours. The polyphenols travel with the omega-3s through the system in the same way that they travel through the marine food chain. So this is the way, a very simple way, in which you can reduce your risk of cancer. There's much more than you can do, but this is where you should start. And this will also protect you against degenerative disease at a frequency which, according to the Victorian data, may be as high as 90%. Nothing to do with medicine, not pharmaceutical medicine, everything to do with nutrition. This is how you escape the prison.